there's a new pop-up for the tooltips that shows you the input, output, and parameters for each tool without having to open up that tool. For those of you that have mistakenly hit this auto layout button before you were ready and said, oops, that wasn't quite the layout I want, you'll be very happy to know that there is now an undo and redo button that will get you back to what you want. And of course, that will work if you accidentally delete a tool and you want to bring that back. Now, many of you have been asking, is it possible to take the geoprocessing tools and the models and put them onto the toolbars to customize the toolbars. With ArcGIS 9.4, we've enhanced the customization capability so you have access to all of the analysis tools. I can drag and drop the buffer tool or the geoprocessing model that I was just working on for search and rescue onto either my own toolbars or the default toolbars. Now, if you go ahead and want to ex execute this, the challenge I'm going to be faced is, if I start this model executing, we're going to have to wait until it finishes before we can continue the presentation. However, that was the past. With ArcGIS 9.4, there's a new geoprocessing option that allows you to enable background processing. So now, when I start the model running, you'll see a status bar in the lower right-hand corner that'll show me the status of my job. You'll see a pop-up occur when it's complete, but I can continue to work. I can continue and do other things. So let's move on for number four on the countdown list is a new Layers tab. This new Layers tab is kind of like a smart legend that will only show you the symbology in the legend for the features that are in your current visible map. So when I click on the, click on the climbing areas symbol, you'll see they'll flash on the map. Or if I look at the stream symbol, you can see which features are using this particular symbol. Now watch the legend as I pan the map to the east and those climbing symbols go off the map. They'll be temporarily hidden in your Layers tab. If we do that again, watch the red and green search and rescue model. It disappears from the map and it's hidden from the Layers tab. So we're making it easier to see what's actually in your map. You can also use the Layers tab to turn on and off layers turn off the imagery, and choose what layers are going to be selectable. The Layers tab is a nice innovation to complement the traditional table of contents. Let's go back to Yosemite Valley and take a look at number three on our countdown list. The park rangers doing the search and rescue may need to know where are the helicopter landing zones. We turn that layer on. It doesn't have the best symbol. So number three on our countdown is the ability to change symbols not by browsing through 20,000 different symbols looking for the right one, 